Tiagraha thrives on oppression till at last the oppressor is tired of it and the object of Satyagraha is gained. Gandhi Mahatma, Volume 6. Let me just mention an extreme example of this principle that Gandhi refers to here. When, in 1942, the Japanese had invaded what is now Myanmar, which was then Burma, uh, the British were terrified, and the Indians were terrified that uh, India was next, and might well have been. And incidentally, uh, it was recently discovered that the British war plan for the, quote, defense of India, unquote, was to get out of there the minute the Japanese invaded. But that's a different question. The main point here is, uh, as he applied it in this situation, let thousands of men, women, and children unarmed go to the border between Myanmar and India. And yes, the Japanese would wreak havoc and kill many. But he said, and this is almost a direct quote or possibly quite direct, they would not be able to repeat the experiment. Once you bring nonviolence into the picture, people can no longer be comfortable doing violence. And so therefore, it's just a matter of time before they say, look, I'm fed up with this. I don't need to do this. I have an alternative. 